Cash and I have done a number of challenges and a lot of those challenges end up being money-making challenges with a time limit. You start with no items, you see how much money you can make. In some of these challenges, we've made an absolute ton of money. Most of the time, it's over 100 million coins in 24 hours. And a comment we get all the time is, well, of course it's easy to make money. You've got stats, you've got gear, you've got game knowledge. That makes it way easier. So this time around, we thought we would do the exact opposite. Welcome to the level three fresh account money-making challenge. In this challenge, Cash and I are both gonna make brand new level three accounts, and then we're gonna have six hours to train our stats or do anything we want in the game. We can't interact with other players, but we can do anything else in the game. After the six hour training period, we're both gonna wipe our banks and start with zero items. We will have 12 hours to see who can make the most money. To keep things interesting, no singular money-making method can be done for more than three hours, so we're gonna need at least four methods each. Obviously, a fish mask is on the line, and the winner's gonna take all the money as well. Oh yeah, and to make things a little more difficult, in the final 12 hours, no shop runs or temporary money-making methods are allowed. All right, Cash. In three, <laughs> you quick teleports. In two, in one, and let's go. I tried to surge. <laughs> Oh god, I just tried to surge. Where are you going? You going to the bank? Where are you going? So getting surge is gonna help for anything I do. Like if I do rune crafting later, like cosmic runes, I'm gonna need it. So yeah, we're gonna go get 30 magic pretty soon. Bones to bananas is one of my methods. It's very, very good. I did the math on it. It's pretty solid. Current plan is 25 agility, 35 thieving, uh, probably 40 mining if I can swing it. And I need 10 summoning as well for uh, spirit spider. It's level 10 thieving coming in there. I don't know what the best methods are. I'm assuming there's something better at level 15 probably, but you know, if not, that's fine. Also, I could do silk and arty to get some GP, but I think XP is more important right now because most of my methods are relatively cheap except for summoning. And when I train mining and smithing, so long as I'm banking my ores, I'll make enough money. So what we're going to do, I'm going to fill my invent with cakes. I'm going to use the cakes and then uh, let's start training, boys. I'm gonna buy a staff of air. <clears throat> I need water runes. Actually, I only need like a hundred. This is for the demon in the Grand Tree quest, by the way. Those will buy over time. Actually, why don't I buy them at a shop? Yeah, we said that was allowed. Buy those at a shop. Cool. Um, what level is a spider one? Level twenty, so that's what I need. Spider wand, spider orb. Okay, cool. Um, I'm assuming that'll buy over time. If it doesn't, that's fine. That's level 23 magic, which means it's time to uh, get Trinome Village done and then Grand Tree afterwards for agility XP. Oof, doing this quest without having Surge is gonna be not nice, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Alrighty. Which quest gives, wait a second. I've made a mistake here. I've definitely made a mistake here. The Grand Tree apparently requires 25 agility. Huh. That is quest complete. Got ourselves 20 attack levels. Actually, 28 attack levels. Cool. Um, And 100 total. That's fine. Might be too long. Okay, so, well, I'm going to get my other methods unlocked first. So, first and foremost, we're going to get our other methods figured out. We'll start there. So, 25 agility, 35 thieving. That's method one. 10 summoning is method two. I need, like, 30 mining or so. That's method three. And then we'll see how much time I've got left. I'm worried about Cash. I'm sure he's got some good methods up his sleeve. But I mean, if I'm doing Spirit Spider while I do Bones to Peaches anyway, doesn't really matter, right? I just need to pick a good bank. I think it's Soul Wars Bank you can do it. Because you can have familiars open at the bank. So then just every time I bank with my preset, I'm going to hit my familiar spec button. And then I'm also going to, uh, yeah, familiar spec as I load my preset. Alrighty, well, that's a brand new plan. And that's, uh, that's something I like a lot, actually. Should be good. That is level 18 agility, which means I can now do the Watchtower Welcome shortcut. So we're going to get over there right now. Get to Yanil. It's the best way to get there. Probably Dueling Ring, Fell the Pills. Get to Yanil, and uh, it's Watchtower time. Oh, I hope this ends up being worth it. I really do, because brutally slow method here. There it is, level 25 agility. I can do the Grand Tree quest. He's insane. See ya, bro. Oh. That, that guy just morphed into a wall. We are level 24 magic, 20 combat. 
And we're just getting started. Here we go. Quest complete. This should be at level 35 agility. I sure hope. If it's not, I'm going to be a little bit upset. There we go. Please be level 35. 31. Uh-oh. Okay, well, you know what? It's a start. Combat XP lamp. We're going to put everything we've got here on magic. So put that on magic. Level 31. We've got surge unlocked. And uh, yeah, now we're level 37 magic. Good stuff. 25 combat. 157 total. Couple more agility levels. We can uh, we can figure out how to get that done. No problem at all. And there we go. Nine Slayer, nine Hunter. That is quest complete. Buyers and sellers done. 39 thieving. Just maxing out my hanky points. And then... And then we skedaddle. How far off 45 am I? Screw it. We're doing it. Go! Boost me. I just... I don't want to use it on mining. If my mining's really, really low, it won't be that much XP. This is unreal. So this way we'll be 45 by the three hour mark. I need a couple agility levels. I've got bonus XP all the way up as well. It's level 35. And then mining and smithing and then combat training and slayer. And then I believe that gives us access to every method we wanted. We also do need a little bit of GP though to train summoning. Beautiful. That's 45 thieving. So that should be good. Quadruple loot from female hand members. So now we need level 35 agility. So let's go and uh, let's go and do that. Alrighty, that is level 35 agility. Got him. Dig site quest. What does it require? 10 herb lore. I could do jungle potion and then dig site. I can buy everything. Oh my god. This actually could be really good. 15k mining XP. What level does that get me do though? It also gets me four spins as well. There we go. Four quest points. Um, can't really do a whole lot with that, but we got a little bit of Urbi XP. We're level three. It's time to do the jungle potion quest. Jungle potion complete. Should get me all the way to nine herb lore. I think. Oh, it's a lamp. That's why. Level nine. We need a hundred more experience. So we should be able to just get that with the herbs we've already got banked. Put them in there, and just like that, we are level 10 or blur. So we now have all the levels required to complete the dig site quest. Just like that, quest complete. We are level 31 mining. Yeah, I feel like that was worth it, actually. That, yeah, that saved a lot of time. Beautiful. So now all we need to do really is, yeah, get mining, start making some money, and then right before time, we're going to, uh, what are we going to do? We're going to train some herb lore. Wait, no, we're not. Right before time, we're going to train summoning to 10 for the spirit spider. Oof. That's no good. Best of luck, man. Level 44 mining. We have to keep it going. Done. Alright, 45 mining. Time to train strength. Waterfall quest. I don't have time to do waterfall quest. I can't do it in five minutes. Because after five minutes, it's time to train my magic. Oh, you mean do waterfall quest after? No, that wouldn't be worth it. Because I'm actually just training strength to increase my mining, right? To increase my mining rate. It's a very slight difference. I'm just doing it really quick because I don't think I've got enough time to get a full mining level. Which is a shame because ideally I would get 50 mining. And honestly, it would have been very close to happening if I hadn't made some mistakes earlier, like training Slayer to 9 and training Hunter to 9 by doing the Varrock Museum thing. That kind of bodied me. Alright, we're gonna be level 15 strength here. That's gonna be the end of the line, because it's time to start spamming some teleports. Ooh, I just got a magic level. My hand hurts so much. Ooh, I got another, I got another magic level. I think I can get another one too. And just like that, we are level 40 magic. I'll use the last couple of runes for good measure, and it's time to drop my bank. I'm feeling pretty good about my methods. Assuming the margins are good, bones to bananas should be a good chunk of money, and I'll be using a spirit spider at the exact same time. 
I'm also gonna be trying to mine iron ore with iron stone spirits. My third method will be killing spell wisps, and then my fourth main method will be completing easy clue scrolls by pickpocketing female ham members. I don't know what Cash has been working on so far, but I'm feeling pretty good. These are my final stats after six hours of training. If you want to watch Cash's first six hours, you can check out his channel by visiting the link in the description down below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, and if you didn't, you know what to do. I recently just had a move across the country, so I've been a little discombobulated on the videos, but I'm settled in now, so the videos should be picking up.